Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to upgrade to Windows 10 October 2018 update so as to benefit from the most recent features of Windows 10. This upgrade allows you to keep your files and applications after the upgrade. There are two possible ways to install this update. One way is to run your normal Windows update and the second is to use Microsoft Media Creation Tool. Please note that if you are still running Windows 7 or 8.1 and you wish to upgrade to Windows 10, then following the steps I showed in this video will upgrade you to Windows 10 and automatically install the October 2018 update. So you don't need to do it as a separate process. I will add a link to this video in the description below. If you are already running Windows 10 and you wish to upgrade using the check for update tool, then you can simply go to your search and type check for update and then click on check for update from the search results. On this page that follows, click again on check for update and then wait for the update to download and install automatically. All you need to do in this case is to restart your PC when prompted to do so and wait for the full installation and configuration of the updates. At present, this procedure may not get the October 2018 update for everyone. It might still take a few days or a couple of weeks before it gets rolled out for all users via the update tool. So if you need this update right away, you may need to use the second method, which is the media creation tool. To download the media creation tool, go to your browser and search download Windows 10 disk image as shown on the screen and then click on the first result from Microsoft. Then it will take you to the download page. Here, click on Update Now and your media creation tool should download pretty fast. Now launch the media creation tool by double-clicking and follow the instructions accordingly to download and install the October 2018 update.
After the upgrade, you should see this welcome page on your Edge browser. It should say something like welcome to the October update or welcome to the best windows ever. With that, you have successfully installed the October 2018 update. Now, this entire process took about 40 minutes in my case. The time required depends, of course, on the speed of your internet connection and the processing power of your computer. So yours might take a little more or a little less than 40 minutes. Now, depending on when you are watching this video, if you are wondering if you already have this update or not, then this is how you verify. Open your file explorer and click on this PC. Then from the computer menu, click system properties. Under Windows specification, it should have a version number 1809. And that is how to upgrade to the Windows 10 October 2018 update. Now, if for some reason you are not okay with the update, you can use the go back to an earlier build tool to revert back to your previous version. To do that, go to your search and type go back to an earlier build. Then click on the corresponding search result and follow the instructions to complete the process. If you have upgraded from Windows 7 or 8, then it should be go back to previous version of Windows. And if you are absolutely comfortable with the new update, then you can go ahead and delete the previous version of Windows. This is completely optional as Windows will do that automatically after 10 days or so. But if you already want to free up your space, then go to your search and type settings. Then from Windows settings, go to system. Then storage. And here click change how we free up space automatically. And then on this page, scroll down and select delete previous version of Windows. And then click on clear now to complete the process. Hope this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.